Welcome back. Today what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you how to make handles for your little pinch cups that we have made on a previous day. Now the handles typically aren't going to be all that large because usually with pinch cups they're not all that tall unless you add height on with coils. You want to think about the shape of the handle that you want um, and you want to uh, make it an appropriate length. Now, in the case of all the handles, what we're going to be doing <clears throat> is I'm going to be taking a coil of clay and I'm going to kind of shape it in approximately like a carrot shape so it's tapered at, at one end. At one end is a little bit smaller. I find that makes a really nice attractive uh, sort of a handle. And then what I do is I twist the ends in an opposite direction. Twisting the ends opposite will help you keep a coil round. I'm just going to cut that off a little bit. I didn't need all of that. So what I'm going to do is just round this nicely and make it a little bit thinner. And that is a good start to my handle. Now, the cup that I made previously, um, this cup here, okay, uh, I really should make a minimum of two handles when I am making a handle for a cup. Uh, you want to make a couple of extras because typically you will have one handle that undoubtedly looks better than another. There's a second. And then since you made two pinch cups, uh, I would say make a minimum of four handles. So I'm going to go ahead and make a couple more here. And again, if you twist those ends slightly opposite, it will certainly help. Now, if you're putting clay together, don't forget to just kind of wedge it into itself so it is well combined. Okay, and again, I'm going to make it sort of like a carrot. Twist the ends opposite and roll. Okay, so now that I have four coils, this is a nice start. Now what I need to do is I need to flatten the inside of the handle and I need to shape the outside. And usually when I shape the outside, I'll show you this on this wheel cup, this is a larger handle, usually I flatten this back edge a little bit so the handle has a nice smooth flat profile and it should be comfortable in your, your hands. Now this is a much larger handle because it's a much taller form that was wheel thrown. You would probably only get two to three fingers maybe in your pinch cup unless you've added height on with coils as I had mentioned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my carrot and I'm going to smack it down. This is a trick that I learned several years ago from Sandy Parentosi and she called it the carrot slam and it works great. So I smack it down. Now the flat side back here, this is going to be the back side of the handle and I have water and a little sponge at hand. I'm going to take my wet sponge as I hold the big fat end of the handle. I'm going to take my wet sponge and I'm going to press down and I'm kind of pressing straight down and on either side. So with three fingers, I'm down with my index finger and then I'm side to side with my other two fingers. And that gives me a nice profile. Now, what I'm going to do is wet my fingers a little bit and I'm just going to make sure it's super smooth. If you have any bumps or irregularities, you want to try to smooth those out. And then I'm going to arch this around on itself. And I'm going to place it on something that's usually plastic, something that's not going to dry it out. So this handle is clearly bigger than I will be using. I will be trimming off quite a bit of it. Uh, you always want to make the handle a little bit larger than necessary so you can trim it down. So I slammed it down, hold the big fat end, sculpt a little bit. Notice that I pull up on the big fat end and what that does is it helps me to lengthen it instead of just making it wider and fatter, it makes it a little bit more slender. Okay, so with a little bit of water on there, I kind of sculpt it a little bit more, and then I'm gonna arch it around, place it on my tray. Okay, and I'll do the other two. And one of the key things about attaching handles is you always have to make sure that the handle and the form, the cup form, are the same moisture. If they are not the same moisture, that handle is just not going to want to uh, attach on there without cracking. Because clay, of course, has to shrink at the same rate. And if your 
form is already shrinking, but your handle is not, it's just not going to work. You're going to have cracks. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, store the cup and the handles overnight on the same tray and cover them tightly with a bag because I want them to dry together and evenly. And a little FYI here, you can see how my table is getting wet. You want to be careful not to um, get your handle stuck in wet areas. So I kept trying to go to a slightly drier spot. Okay, and last handle I will place on the tray. And there we go. Okay, so there are my handles. Now what I'm ready to do is I'm ready to store my cup on the tray and then I'm ready to get a bag and cover the whole thing. When you put the bag over it, you want to make sure that it is going to be nice and tight so it creates a nice uh, sealed chamber. Oh, I do want to do the foot ring first. I almost forgot that. I wanted to show you how to do foot ring. Foot rings, uh, the same goes for a foot ring that it goes for a handle. We need to uh, store it on it overnight so it can become the same moisture. So for the foot ring, I'm just going to roll a little coil. I'm going to make it about the right size there. And then if I score and add a little slip in here, I'll just blend where those two come together. So I've got a foot ring appropriately sized. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to position it on the pot and I'm not going to attach it today but I am going to kind of uh, push it on there so it kind of fits the form. Okay, so let me just pull this back up and you can see what I've done. So I've just kind of blended this a little bit so it looks like it's going to fit. I will position that on the cup and then I will cover up the whole thing. Tomorrow when I come in the foot ring and the handles and the cup should all be a uniform moisture and then I'll be ready to attach it. But that's another day. <laughs>